Alright guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is Stella and today I'm going to be reacting to My Hero Academia episode 20, Victory or Defeat. So, we are on to the last set of battles in the sports festival. Uh, Deku is about to go up against Shinzo, who is absolutely terrifying. But we're not totally sure what Shinzo's quirk is, only that he used it to great effect in the last round, meaning it is pretty dangerous. Um, so a little terrified to see how this battle turns out. I'm excited to see the other pair-ups though, for sure in this battle. But honestly, I kind of just want to get into this episode. We're almost done with the tournament, which is really exciting. But as always, if you want to watch the full length reaction to episode 20, it'll be up on our Patreon, along with early access to episode 21, Battle on Challengers. So if you'd like early access, please hop on over to our Patreon, help us out a little bit. We would really appreciate it. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching and joining. And if you're new, welcome. Hopefully you enjoy yourself and hopefully you decide to stick around. Uh, and without further ado, let's just get into My Hero Academia episode 20. Okay. So we get to watch Deku make his big mistake again. Which also, I'm sorry, it's just so dumb. Ojiro literally told him, don't talk, bro. Like, it's so scary. I still don't know what this, this quirk is, but it is scary for sure. I want President Mike to uh, narrate literally everything. His quirk is like psychological or something, not so physical. Oh, he's got such a creepy voice. Bro is a freaking mind controller. I literally said I knew it. I called it. Yeah, but that's... He doesn't have a lot of time, does he? Oh, this is such a cool effect for, for him being stuck in his head while he's brainwashed. So, someone just gotta run into Deku before he gets out of bounds. Yeah, what is he going to be able to do? Like, there's no shock. There's no one running by. He can't run into anything. Can someone shout at him, maybe? Um, uh, pardon? Is this all might? Like the ability within him powering up? Beyond epic. That's so cool. <laughs> that seemed like other people were like standing in the doorway and stuff. Yeah. Is it the people that like passed down all for one to him? One for, one for all. Oops, my bad. Yeah. I knew it. So it's like the the generations of people. Is he just gonna push him out with his with his own strength? Ouch. Me too, All Might. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. That is true. It is a very overpowered quirk. Like, very scary. 
ビラン向きだねって間接的に言われるのは慣れっこだそういう世の中 I guess that's true that you know there's gonna be an unfair assumption of you based on your quirk if it's something that でも insinuates villainy まっ先に二回戦に進出したのはエグミン緑屋伊豆か生かせる経験で強引に流れを作った感じだなうん I love, you know, he's being, he's being honest. It's kind of going to be But I think the stuff that was actually going on was interesting. Just nobody else watching really knew what was going on. He seems like a good person. They, like, they're giving us his, uh, these other scenes of him for a reason. I'm glad that Shinsu is gonna return. Like, he's definitely a formidable. Opponent. Yay, recovery girl. Yeah, pretty much. No, it was a good learning moment. Oh, he's never seen it? Oh, okay. He has. Oh, that's great. So it's a good sign. I love the dialogue in this show. Like, it's very, it's very clever and very silly. <laughs> why? Why is that a good thing? Oh, oh. Daddy issues, daddy issues, daddy issues, daddy issues. But he doesn't need an overwhelming victory. I was gonna say, I can't imagine that working for him forever, you know? But the problem is, it's not. You can't live your life hating half of yourself, right? Or not wanting to, to use it as part of it. What we really need to do is work through our, our issues with, with Pops. What's Sero's? Oh, he's tape, tape boy. I feel like tape versus Totoro is not a fair competition at all. Now Todoroki's got a plan. He's already, he look how calm this boy is. Is he gonna make it? What's he doing? Yeah, so he's immobilized and he's he's out. I don't know, I feel like ice is an unfair ability in this circumstance. No? He's so cool. Oh. oh my gosh, I'm so excited to keep watching this. Um, wow, uh, okay, I'm so excited to move on to, I guess, the final round. Oh, I don't know how many episodes are left, but I'm really excited. Um, well, that was something. Shinzo's really cool. He's definitely got to make a reappearance, like come back and uh, do some wild stuff because that's an insane quirk. And also just some really cool, you know, what we did get of his character so far was really cool characterization, right? That everyone sees him as a villain. No one wants to really talk to him or trust him because he can brainwash them. Like, that's terrifying. <coughs>
and we got some good Todoroki development as well. We finally got to see him talk to his dad, which is insane. Um, and my gosh, is he powerful. Like, he is wildly powerful. It's... When we see these kids finally, like, becoming the actual heroes that I know they're going to become, like, they're going to be so powerful. Probably overpowered, honestly. Uh, but I'm really excited to see them enter some actual fights. Um, and, yeah, so we still have leftover. We've got Bakugo and Dururaka are playing, or are battling. We've got Ida and the mechanical girl lady. Uh, we've got French boy and Mina. Yeah. So there's, there's a couple of battles still left to do, and I'm kind of curious to see who's going to pull through. Um, and also, I'm curious to see who Deku will be up to ne uh, up against next, because I feel like it kind of seems like we're leading to a big battle between Deku and, and Todoroki, right? Which would make sense, but I don't know if that's, if that's going to happen <coughs> just yet. Um, either way, I'm really excited to get into episode 21. I don't know if I'm going to watch it right now, because I'm you can probably hear I'm losing my voice from just being so excited about this show. But if you are interested in watching the full-length reaction to episode 20 or early access to episode 21, please hop on over to our Patreon because they'll both be up there. Um, and thank you so much for stopping by and for watching and enjoying. And if you're new, hopefully you had a great time. Hopefully you decide to stick around. And if you do, I will catch you in the next reaction.